Welcome to part four of this eight part series. So far, everything I've shown you is conceptual. Now we want to see it in practice. In part four, I'm going to show you real examples from a real portfolio of the top 1% where they used options to make hundreds of millions of dollars. We now know where the top 1% find edge. And this map helps us understand that there's a process from idea to an options trade. Those options trades can be seen in their portfolios at the end of the quarter. Remember, these are Steve Cohen's top 10 trade ideas, and eight of them have options positions. Now you know that to be quite profitable buying options, you only need to win a few times. So let's start by looking at Steve Cohen's top position as of March 31st, 2019. You can see he has a very large call position in Disney, over 130,000 call options. This represents over $1.1 billion in notional value. Let's take a look at what happened in the stock. Disney trades near $110 at the end of the quarter and starts to climb in early April. Then on April 12th, boom. The stock jumps from $116 to $129 as Disney unveiled their streaming service. The stock continued its march higher up to $141. That's a 28% move in the stock, but the options were up over 1,000%. This equates to hundreds of millions of dollars in profits in one month. Now let's take a look at one more. How about his third biggest position, APC. Let's take a look at what happened there. Well, on March 31st, the stock was $46. Wouldn't you know it, on the same day as Disney unveiled its streaming service, boom, APC was bought out by Chevron. But the story wasn't done. Two weeks later, boom, Occidental came in to make a higher bid for the company. APC stock was up 58%, but the options were up an incredible 2,000%, again, in one month. Now, these were call options. Keep in mind that the top 1% also buy put options. And here's another thing to note. The top 1% filed their portfolios with the SEC at the end of each quarter. So when they file on March 31st, we only get to see it 45 days later on May 15th. That means we wouldn't have been able to see Steve Cohen's holdings when the April 12th announcements were made. So the question is how can we see these trades before the 45 day delay? Stick around because in part five, I'll show you exactly how you can do it in real time.